We recently did the Sons of Anarchy seasons here on Rotten Tomato, but it's time to go to the East Coast. It's time to go to New Jersey, boy. And it's time to look at the Sopranos and look at every season rank. Uh, there only is six. So, you know, one less than Sons. Uh, I mean, I guess season six was split into two, but will they factor that in? I'm not too sure, but I've got a feeling that Rotten Tomato is going to absolutely lick the shitter of Tony Soprano. So let's see what season one was rated. Season one gets a 98. So automatically, off the bat, we are, you know, high ratings here, 98. And we're not coming in with a, a mid-80s. It's a 98 here for The Sopranos. You know what? I love, I, I say, I was supposed to say love The Sopranos, right? I, I love the comedy element of it, right? I think the comedy's, honestly, it's almost like second to none. But, in terms of the actual stories that go on, I think the stories are very weak. And I think the, a few alterations, alterations, sorry, and they could have really drastically made this show so much better in my eyes. I know according to a lot of people, it's still a great show, but for me, they could have simply made a few changes and made it absolutely phenomenal. But uh, yeah, 98. Will that be the highest? I'm not convinced. Let's see what season two is. Season two is a 94. Um, the description is, Soprano's strong cast and solid writing add depth to the show's occasionally unlikable characters and their repellent deeds, making for thought-provoking, consistently compelling viewing. So, here, so, so far, at a possible 200%, we have got, you know, we're only missing eight. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a good start there for the Sopranos. Um, probably at the end of the show, I will add up all the Soprano ratings for our uh, episode reviews and we'll work out what we gave it, but I believe we already actually did it to a degree. I believe I did. Did it with Paul. They weren't too... They weren't too good to say the least, but anyway, 94. Um, season 3 we are currently on 100%, right? We are on Season 3 right now, and Season 3 is not 100% season. There's so many flaws, right? You're going into a season finale, and, like, the only thing is, oh, what are they going to do with Jackie April Jr.? When you knew they were going to kill him, right? You knew they were going to kill him. I think his death fucking sucked. Um, the glorious situation with Tony just gets completely diffused. Uh, I believe Tony does find out in Season 4 that she killed herself, although I wouldn't quote me on that. Um, I think the season's a bit dull. Like, yeah, there's some, a lot of standalone episodes that are good. Like, we, we, we see the uh, legend that is Burt Young in an episode. Pine Barrens is brilliant. It's just a lot of filler, a lot of garbage. For me, I, I would give season three probably like a six and a half out of ten. It's not 100%, nowhere near it. Season four, though, is a 92%. The war seeps into the Sopranos household in a season of discontent with each of these artfully rendered devils stewing in a defined comedy of their own making. So season four so far is the lowest rated season according to Rotten Tomatoes. Do I know, I actually like quite a lot of season four that I can recall. Um, but I, I need to rewatch it just to be able to figure out to see what's actually... um. Did you know to make it another? Because I think I think after one watch through, obviously you can make your opinion known, but I think you need to watch it a good few times to be honest. Um, season five though, it's a ninety three rating. Critics consensus the penultimate season of Sopranos hurdles her, hurtles towards hurdles hurtles towards the series the climax for sacrificing the compelling stories and vibrant characters that made it an acknowledged television classic. I really enjoyed season five. You know, Adriana's death was quite sad. Uh, Tony B's death was quite sad. But you got, you got, you know, the class of 2004. A lot of guys being released and it introduced a lot of new characters. So I thoroughly um, enjoyed a lot of that. But into the final season, season six. Also, they have split it into two. So as you can see, season six, part one, gets an 89% rating. Um, the lowest so far, the only one in the 80s. The Sopranos' final season craftily builds its anticipated climax with more of the dark humour and heartfelt characterizations that made it one of television's strongest series. And then moving into part two, an 84% rating. Um, weird how, you know, well, there's zero episodes in part two, so, you know, chill it. Boys out in a chilling cut to black. 
so you know they've kind of buried it like you know a, a debatable crew to an audience expectations but wholly committed its thematic integrity and i think that's just a weak excuse so for the sopranos like I think the way Jackie April get killed was so anticlimactic, right? I think this entire show is just full of anticlimactic scenes, right? And people will argue, oh, but that's real life. Not everything is cinematic. Is is Patsy told Gloria? But for fuck, you're a fucking TV show. You know what I mean? I think you need to dive into these sort of things. It's like I think there's so many, like I said, there there's so many tweaks you could have done to make this show better. But anyway, guys, that is it. We'll be back very soon with more content, but until then, peace.